Sean Diddy Combs is back in the spotlight today after federal agents raided his homes in Miami and Los Angeles last week. The New York Post reports today that authorities will widen the investigation into Diddy's past. The Tanya Rubin, a victim of a 1999 Club New York shooting, told this to News Nation. Let's listen. I'm willing to have a doctor remove a part of the 9 millimeter bullet in my face so that they can use it as evidence, if need be, for this trial. Almost 25 years ago, Sean Combs, his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez, his bodyguard Anthony Wolf jones and rapper Jamal Barrow were arrested following a shooting inside a Times Square club that wounded three bystanders. Now, if that isn't enough, the record label named in Rodney Lil Rod Jones' lawsuit accusing Sean Diddy Combs of sexual abuse is sending a letter to a federal judge seeking their dismissal from that lawsuit. Ooh, so this has been a story that has gotten bigger as opposed to smaller as time has gone on, in part because of all of these civil lawsuits that have been filed, not just before the raid last week, but on the day of the raid. And since then, you mentioned this uh, civil suit filed by uh, Lil Rod. He uh, alleges that he's seen uh Combs display his guns and brag about getting away with shooting people. Combs' uh, attorney has responded saying that Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. The, but the Lil Rod uh, allegations do provide potentially some interesting context for, again, this 1999 club shooting that resulted in that young woman, um, Ruben, being shot in the face and still living still with having shrapnel. shrapnel. That is crazy. Right. And another kind of point of public interest in this case is that at the time, of course, Diddy was dating Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Lopez um, the, so in one of these civil suits, there's an allegation that she is the one that brought, of course, just an allegation, but brought the gun inside of the club. Um, questions about what she knew at the time and how much she knew about it, especially if reportedly Diddy is someone who has been bragging about how he's been able to get away and get off from these gun charges. After the 99 uh, club shooting, his uh, friend, one of their associates, was charged with 10 years in jail for that, but Diddy was not implicated. Yeah, and you can pay to make civil lawsuits go away. You can't pay to make a federal investigation go away. So I think we are, this feels like the tip of the iceberg. This feels like we're about to get into some real stuff that has been buried a long time, that has been alluded to in terms of sexual behavior at his properties. Um, we play, I think last time we talked about this, we played the clip of Usher mm -hmm. being asked about it on Howard Stern all those years back. Um, Usher, underage at the time, says he was underage. Very he underage. Lost his Thirteen years old. Virginity there, right. um, you know, kind of alluding to the things going on. Now there, uh, of these new um, accusations of sexual misconduct, um, I think one of them does concern a woman who was underage at the time. So we're getting into some bad territory. Right now. Uh he, Diddy seems to have retained um, Mark Garagos, who is a well-known celebrity lawyer. He represented Winona Ryder in the midst of her um, store theft cases. Remember that? All those years ago, and in in a scores and scores of other celebrities. He did an interview on News Nation as well, and he was saying that this is there's something a little bit odd about the, of course, he's representing Diddy, but he's re uh, saying that there's something odd about the kind of order of events as they unfold, that typically um, the... Uh, raid is the apotheosis of an investigation, but in this instance, um, there have been there, the investigation seems to have followed the raid, suggesting that they didn't have enough to arrest him, and now they're trying to build a case after. Well, fact. that that's is what the attorney argument. would say, obviously. And of course, that's, <laughs> and they've not arrested Diddy yet, right? And he's also made the allegation that this is proceeding very quickly, Im implicitly, sus suspiciously quickly, but. That being his only sort of kind of qualification and response here, yeah. or his substantial qualification and response in the concept of the interview, suggests to me that Diddy is potentially facing quite a bit of trouble. And I think that your point about the difference between the civil suits, which so far he's been able to make go away, notably the suit from his former partner Cassie at the end of last year that alleged um, very serious sexual misconduct, was settled at that time. But that did seem to be the kind of the opening of the Pandora's box to all of these other investigations, including this federal raid. 
Yes, uh, we should note that I don't think we brought this up last time, but uh, further reporting from the Daily Mail, from US Weekly, um, US Weekly, excuse me, uh, has said that uh, Diddy's two sons, um, uh, Justin and King, were, yes, they were detained and handcuffed during these these raids. Um, so they are, and, and they're 25 and 30, they're, so they're not underage. No, they were um, detained. Um, I did see discourse about whether or not that was necessary or appropriate. I mean, one of the arguments um, that is being made by, you know, um, the feds is that obviously if you warn people uh, as to you know, the fact that they're about to be investigated, that they're about to be raided, and you're trying to procure they physical evidence, evidence, then you right. don't want to tip anybody off. And there have been allegations about what kind of corroborating materials might exist at the house. Right, we don't know yet about what was collected, the nature of what was collected, or if there's anything that would implicate um, Diddy more seriously in a federal investigation. Right, what you think of is a what you would think of in terms of a of a raid of this kind would be, I mean, frankly, would be drugs and guns. Although I, the drugs have that has not been these are sexual allegations, so I don't know. Or maybe maybe, well, no, a, box this, of, maybe a box of documents uh, he, he kept sure. <laughs> shouldn't have had. But there also obviously there is this um, there is, there is a the, the gun charge well, there, there's, right, that's there's implicated a gun, by yeah. by Ruben um, who is volunteering I, I, I mean, to provide I, he hasn't additional been accused evidence of, like gun running or. Stockpile well, sure, weapons, but, but right, they well, it, it, find something. The, the little, sorry, the, the the rap artist who filed the civil suit um, did, as part of his allegations, mm. accuse him of bragging about getting away with gun offenses and shooting and, and gun possession and, and those kinds of things. So I do think this is all on on the table. It's all fair play, which does raise some questions. You know, are they trying to throw stuff at the wall to see what sticks because they're out to get Diddy and this is a motivated prosecution? Or is it the case that he has been a person in the public eye for a very long time that's been very closely affiliated with a lot of kind of tragedy and bad acts that have happened within the hip hop community? And now because of perhaps his fading star in the industry, the willingness of people to come forward now, all of the stuff that he has avoided is just sticking. It's not that it's a bad faith attack. It's just that finally we're getting to a tipping point where the evidence is sufficient that Diddy will ultimately be held not just civilly but criminally accountable for some of the things that he's alleged to have done. Or is this just now <laughs> in the post Me Too era we have, we're not letting people get away with this kind of stuff no matter how long ago it was. It's being resurfaced, um, I think that might be the... I mean, the Me Too era has been going on for a long time, and I would argue that we're um, far from its peak, frankly. It does seem, even in the case of Weinstein and um, Bill Clinton, sorry, Bill Clinton, excuse me, um, Bill Cosby, <laughs> apologies. Watch it there. <laughs> um, that there, it, it, it did become, it wasn't that there was new information all, of it, all at once, but that it got to a fever pitch um, enough people came forward that it was difficult to ignore or frankly even pay off. And if we look at how much money it seems to have taken in the past to settle various lawsuits, it's one thing to say with one, one person, with Cassie, I'm going to be able to make that go away. Does even someone like Diddy have enough money to settle um, the, you know, the rap artist's suit for $30 million? Now, I presume that he would settle potentially for much less than that. But even someone like Diddy has to be looking at the checkbook and saying, can I really manage all of these civil suits with money? Yeah, it is uh, it is fascinating. I mean, we're revisiting, you know, that that um, that shootout from involving Jennifer Lopez. And I mean, this is going back 25 years now. Um, it's uh, interesting to have that all, you know, finally brought back into focus and someone someone willing to, willing to testify, willing to have a, surgery or an operation to have shrapnel removed to provide new information on that case that's 25 years old yeah. is uh, incredible. Well, it is worth noting also that Ruben testified at that case back then, and she said that she saw Diddy shoot the gun in her face, but that testimony wasn't sufficient to get any kind of conviction back then. So I think it's probably worth revisiting what conflicting testimony said. Yeah. Um, I, I presume there was some reasonable reason. I saw you. I saw you shoot me in the face. Yeah, seems like pretty persuasive testimony to me. Well, but, not if uh, not if there is there are other yeah. witnesses that say something different. So it's worth keeping in mind that there there was a different kind of judicial outcome at the time, and we'll see if any of this evidence um, changes the equation. We'll definitely keep up with this story and let you know when there are new updates. Do stick around. We have more rising for you coming up next.